Port Castries continues to be busy with cruise ship activity as three mega ships were berthed there on Saturday, the 29th of December 2018. The economic spin offs are nothing but tremendous. I've just come from visiting Point Seraphin, and you know, everyone is selling. It's good to see that the taxi drivers are making trips as well. And I think um, this is the beginning of the success that uh, we can have as a destination uh, if we do cruise tourism right. On Friday, there were five ships in the harbour, an indication of a strong winter season for the cruise sector. Minister Fede says the ultimate objective is for the economic benefits of cruise tourism to be felt through every sector in community. To this end, government is undertaking a study aimed at improving revenue flows. We want to make sure that small business people, vendors, taxi drivers, shop owners, that everyone can uh, feel the tourism dollar. Uh, we have actually done a lot of training already uh, to this end. Efforts have begun to help all sectors maximize returns from cruise tourism. Over 150 vendors have been trained in sales technique and product development. With the industry reporting a 13% growth over the last year, government is advancing plans to further decentralize the benefits of cruise porting. So taking um, you know, a port to view for it is very critical in that it helped to decentralize the tourism dollar and it helps to get a lot more St. Lucians involved into the activity. But what it also does, uh, quite importantly, is that it makes St. Lucia a competitive home port destination. And when we look at what is taking place in the Caribbean, we see that uh, very few destinations can boast that they have a cruise port and a home port, uh, an airport facility in such close proximity. A record setting 800,000 cruise passengers are expected to visit the island this cruise season, which runs from November 2018 to May 2019. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.